Welcome back to the craziness that is Living 808. Even <laughs> though big events have been canceled or rescheduled, the Honolulu Pride Parade is still scheduled to happen. That's right. I talked with the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation on how you can be a part of this year's parade. <laughs> A lot of events have been canceled due to safety precautions in light of the current times. Lucky for us, we live in a place where we keep the pride alive. Now here to talk about the Honolulu Pride 2020, we have good friend of Living 808 and vice chair of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation, Francine Beppu. Hi Francine, it's so good to see you. Hi, Mikey. It's so nice to see your face as well. I know. Hopefully soon in person. <laughs> now, we were talking about um, what's going to happen this year, and I know a lot of stuff is happening in honor of Honolulu Pride. But for those that don't know, why do we celebrate Pride? What is the importance? Well, this year is especially important because it marks the 50th anniversary of the first official march which was uh, sprung up because of the Stonewall Uprising. And so it's really important for us to continue recognizing LGBT history and the progress we've made thus far. We're still not completely there because, you know, it's, it's just an amazing time for the community to be more visible, um, to support one another, and all of the letters under the LGBTQIA plus communities. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just really important to celebrate everybody's uniqueness and ability and support to live openly and happily. And Pride matters because countless people have lost their jobs and families and lives to be able to live in peace with themselves, especially you know during this year. So we'd like to keep the momentum going and um, show our support. What can our viewers expect to see at this year's Honolulu Pride? Obviously, we're, we're unable to gather in person, so um, we're trying to be very inclusive in ha hosting a live virtual event. So instead of the regular Pride Parade, you see here in front of me, it's your chance to do DIY crafting and submit your very own floats to be included in the parade. <laughs> I love that. Now, this is called the Tiny Floats Parade. Um, how can our viewers participate? Give us a little bit more details because that is so extravagant. What, how, how can they do something on that level or even just be a part of Honolulu Pride? This one, I actually can't take credit for this beautiful piece right here. It was made by uh, a friend of ours, um, Trevor Sanchez, and um, he made it for the Honolulu Pride and Legacy Foundation. Of course, our theme is Shaka and Shine. But you know, you can just go to the craft store. I went to Walmart and found this little Jurassic Park um, truck. I spray painted it and you know, it's still a work in progress. So again, folks, we are extending the, the submission date to um, October 9th. So please, um, if you are submitting photos or videos of your float, um, just to, uh, send that over to info at honoluluprideco.com by Friday, October 9th. Nice. Now, I know a lot of people are into videos. How long do the videos have to be? So they can be photos, five second or 10 second videos. Okay, perfect. And it's just as simple, you know, embracing your creativity side with just like a simple truck around your neighborhood um, and submitting it. And a lot of these viewers can experience Honolulu Pride on Cage One too, because it will be broadcasted, right? Yes, actually, the, we have a, another special, exciting partnership with, uh, with you guys. And um, this year, we put together a special half-hour show showcasing people in our community that are doing inspirational things by um, show, showcasing Aloha with Pride. We also created an original song this year, um, your friend, Kailana, and our friends, um, which will be premiering during that half hour show as well. So the premiere date's October 15th on KJON at 7 p.m. Perfect. And then if a lot of people wanted to learn more about how they can make the floats, um, even more information about Pride, is there a website that the Hawaii LGBT uh, Legacy Foundation has that we can follow? Yes. Um, please log on to honoluluprideco.com for a whole list of events um, and virtual events and panels and everything.
<laughs> there you go, Hawaii. Honolulu Pride is still happening this year. Francine, thank you so much for talking to me and happy Pride. I can't wait to see you on TV. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much, Mikey. Really appreciate it. Such a super uh, you know, everybody's, exciting. Yeah, everybody, everybody has mm -hmm. to adjust, right? So even they've got to work on uh, whatever they got to do. And I, I like that thing. You can make your own. That was pretty cool. That last shot. It looked actually like a real large float. <laughs> yeah, you know that's so interesting because when she said tiny floats, I was like, "How are we going to get on tiny floats?" And then she showed me the truck. I was like, <laughs> "Look, got it, Mikey." But you can make little action figures. <laughs> if there is anyone here, go bad joke. If there's anybody who can get on a tiny float, it, it would be you. <laughs> ah! I'll jump on those tiny floats. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, with all the distance learning.